Hello everybody. Today I've got a very special guest with me, Raphael Benjamin. <laughs> Raphael doesn't know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to reveal something amazing. Now my area of academic expertise is the chemistry of the oceans, the ancient oceans as they were millions of years ago. Did you know that, Raphael? No. No? It's pretty cool. Raphael is going to help me explain how we can find out the temperature of the ocean as it was thousands, even millions of years ago. That is this mean, and I want to rock the sky. We're going to use sweet tic tacs. Tic tacs. Now, here's what we're going to do. See? That is all to me, and this is to a video. Okay? Oh. Well, actually, what we're going to do. Because we're going to put them all on the table like this. Now let's say. We're going to use these. Many people don't know that there are two kinds of oxygen in the ocean. Oxygen 16 and oxygen 18. Oxygen 16 is a little bit different to oxygen 18 and much more common. The only difference really is that it's got two fewer neutrons in the nucleus of the oxygen. And what that means is it's a little bit lighter. Here we have a mixture of oxygen 16 and oxygen 18 in the ocean. Can you count all the red ones, Raphael? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, eleven. Okay, okay. Let me stop there. Right there. Because you got a bit confused at the end. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27. 27 oxygen 60s. Or cherry tic tacs. Now, the yellow ones we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, 7, 28 oxygen 80s. Or passion fruit tic tacs. So here we have the ocean, lots of oxygen 16 and lots of oxygen 80. Yes. Here is the ocean, here is the atmosphere. When the temperature of the atmosphere gets a little bit hotter, the ocean also gets a little bit hotter here. Oxygen 16, because it is lighter, it is preferentially evaporated relative to oxygen 18 here. Let's say that Raphael is the atmosphere. Which one do you prefer? Yellow one and, uh, and this one. You like both of them? Okay. Because but, they're very sweet and I like more sweet things. I know. Because you are hot, you're the atmosphere. You're going to like this one a little bit more. Okay. So, do you want to take one of these? Yes. I'll take one. A red one. There were 27 red ones in the ocean, but now Raphael's eaten one. It's gone into the atmosphere. So, now there are only 26. Now, which flavour do you want now? Oxygen 18. Okay. So oxygen 16 and oxygen 18 are evaporated. But oxygen 16 is a little bit easier to evaporate. Well, now which flavour do you want? Mm. This. Again? Okay, one of each. Red. And... Red, okay, and a yellow. So two reds and a yellow. The oxygen 16 and the oxygen 18 have both been evaporated in water. There's been one or two more oxygen 16 molecules evaporated into the atmosphere. So now the ratio between the red yes. and the yellow, oxygen 16 to oxygen 18, is a bit different. The oxygen is actually a little bit heavier if you average it out everything. Now here's the really cool thing. I want to show you guys something. What do you think that is, Raphael? Sand. Sand? Mm -hmm. Let me show everybody else, shall I? Really? Raphael says sand. Well, you're kind of right. But the amazing thing is, Raphael, if you put this under a microscope, these are actually, each individual grain is actually a little tiny fossil. 
These are, are planktonic foraminifera and they live in the surface of the ocean, floating in the surface of the ocean. And what they do is they make their shells from the water and the calcium to make... Thank you. Calcium carbonate in the top of the ocean. So the calcium carbonate in these shells reflects the chemistry of the ocean. More particularly, the ratio of oxygen 16 to oxygen 18. So this can be a rock that fall down for the sky. That's called a, a meteorite. But you're making that. No. Ten me yesterday. Oh yes, I was telling you about meteorites yesterday, wasn't it? And these guys grow, they incorporate the chemistry. And when they die, they sink to the sea floor. And they accumulate in layers over millions of years. Be careful. That is 55 million years old right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists, like myself, my colleagues, they will go on scientific cruise to dig up these samples. They'll put them in a machine called an inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometer. Can you say that, Rafael? Say inductively. Inductively. Coupled. Coupled. Plasma. Plasma. Mass. Mass. Spectrometer. Spectrometer. Very, very good. Yes. And what this special machine does is it actually can tell how much oxygen 16 is in these little guys and how much oxygen 18 is in these little guys. In other words, it can tell the variation in the amount of oxygen 16 to oxygen 18 in the top of the ocean over time. And that And that will tell us how much oxygen 16 was being evaporated into the atmosphere. In other words, what the temperature of the atmosphere and the ocean was over millions of years. How far? Give me five. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now we're gonna make. And now we're gonna eat these. All of them. Yay!